Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbara. This is AP Physics Chapter 2, Video 1. Today's topic is displacement, time, and average velocity. The objectives for today are know the quantities needed to describe motion, understand the positive direction is arbitrary, be able to determine average velocity mathematically, and be able to determine average velocity from xt graph. How to describe motion. Here is a motion. A race car is moving along street track. To describe this motion, we need to choose coordinate system. So we choose the x-axis is the line of motion starting from 0 meters. Next, you have to choose the point of the car. So we choose the front end of the car to represent the entire car. So we treat the car as a particle. Next, to determine the car's coordinate change during the time interval. So to is defined as velocity. To describe the motion, we need need to de describe its velocity. So uh, velocity is coordinate change over time interval. Coordinate change, we call that displacement. It's also called a delta x change in position, x2 minus x1 equals delta x. Time is a time interval, that's t2 minus t1. And average velocity is the displacement divided by the total time interval. So here, to describe the car, again, we need to choose our coordinate system. You need to have original position, zero, to start. So you need to uh, set up what direction is positive and where is x-axis. Next one, you need to take the position at the time 1. x1 equals 90 meters, time equals 1 second. And take another position, in this case, I take another position at four seconds, and I see what position that is. Then I measure what is the average velocity, which is 258 divided by three seconds. How did I get 258? 277 minus 19. That's 258. How did I get delta t equals to three? I use four minus one. Choice of positive direction is really up to you. So the direction of coordinate axis is yours to choose. Once you have made your choice, you have to stick with it and keep it the same throughout your calculations. For example, the same coordinate system, if we choose going to the right, is positive and here is a zero. We, we can use the same for the truck as well. So the truck is going to the left in this case. So if going to the right is positive, going to the left has to be negative. So to calculate the truck's average velocity, we use change uh, in position divided by change of time. Change of position is uh, 19 meters minus 277 meters because this is the first position, this is the final position. And the time is 9 seconds. I use 25 minus 16. So there are three vocabularies to describe motion. Displacement, change in position, Time is really the time interval. And fi finally, average velocity in the x direction. So later on, we're going to use, uh, figure out average velocity in the y or z direction. But so far in one dimension, we're only interested in x direction. We can also describe motion on the x versus t graph. So here is a graph. We have learned this in regions. Uh, this is the motion of a car going from P1 to P2, and here is the graph. What does this graph represent? The graph is, does not represent a car's path in space. The graph represents how the car's position change with time. So here is at T1, X1, at T2, it has X2, here is a path. Uh, for those of us, um, in regions, remember uh, last year, this curve of the path indicated an acceleration. How do we find uh, average velocity from this graph? Well, average velocity is equals to the slope. Average velocity is the slope of the line. From P1 to P2 is this green, the slope of the green line. How do, how do we know? Because the slope of the green line equals to rise over run. Rise is delta x, and run is delta t. That's displacement over time gives you average velocity. Let's take a look at our example. 
Each of the following automobile trips takes one hour. The positive x direction is to the east. So you have five cars. A travels five kilometers due east. B travels. Uh, I mean, A travels fifty kilometers due east. B travels fifty kilometers due west. C sixty kilometers east. That turns around and ten kilometers west. All all these motions are in the same time. And finally, D is seventy kilometers. East E travels twenty five kilometers west, then turns around, travels twenty kilometers east. A rank the five trips in order of average x velocity from the most positive to the most negative. Well, velocity is displacement over time. Since time is the same, so whichever one has has the most positive displacement has the most x positive velocity. So I want you to think about it. Your answer should be four, which is D. Then you'll have A and C have the same velocity. Then five, uh, car E. Then finally is car B. Which trip if any have the same average x velocity? So right over here, one and three, they travel the same displacement in the same time. But which trip if any is average velocity equals to zero? That's five. You go in twenty. West, and then coming back twenty east, you have zero displacement, so average velocity is zero. Next example: starting from a pillar, you run a hundred meters east. That's called a positive axis at an average speed of five meters per second. Then you turn around, run one twenty meters west at an average speed of forty meters per second to a post. Calculate what is your average speed. Well, average speed is total distance divided by total time. You kind of know the total distance, one hundred and one twenty. So two hundred twenty meters. What is the total time? Total time is the two parts added together. The first, when you run one hundred meters, you know the time, because how do you know the time? You know one hundred meters and the speed, so you can figure out the time. The second part, one hundred twenty meters, you know the speed, so you can figure out the part. Uh, the time for the second part, then you add the two together. So speed is distance over time. Total time is the first part, one hundred divided by five plus one twenty divided by four. So you have fifty seconds. Now what is the total distance? Two hundred twenty divided by fifty. You have four point four meters per second. Next question is what is your average velocity? Average velocity is displacement over time. Total displacement is twenty meters west. So total displacement is twenty meters west, and negative twenty divided by fifty. So you have negative point four meters per second. This negative really means west. So your velocity is point four meters per second west. Another example: two runners start simultaneously from the same point on a circular four hundred meter track. And runs in the same direction. One runs at constant speed of six meters per second. The other runs at constant speed of five meters per second. Question one: When will the faster one first lap the slower one? And how far from the starting point will each one have run? So a lap is four hundred meters. So the first lap that means the faster one have is four hundred meters ahead of the slower one. So let's see. Speed is distance over time. So time is distance over speed. Now let's see how do we find the distance. The distance, the difference in the distance is 400 meters, and you have to divide by the difference in speed. The difference in speed is one meters per second. So the total time is 400 divided by one. So you have 400 seconds. Now in 400 seconds, the faster one. Will have run twenty four hundred meters. The slower one will have run two thousand meters. Number two, when will the fast one overtake the slower one for the second time? And how far from the starting point will they be at that instant? Well, this is the first time. For the second time, you simply double the time, and you double the distance. But you can also think about the same procedure as we did in part one. So for two laps, you told the total distance is eight hundred meters divided by the relative speed, which is one meter. So you have eight hundred seconds. You double the time. Similarly, you double the distance. 
Next example: A Honda Civic travels in a straight line along a road. Its distance x from the stop sign is given as a function of time by this equation: alpha t squared minus beta t cubed, where alpha equals to one, beta equals to point zero five. Calculate the average velocity of the car for each time interval. From t equals to zero to t equals to two seconds. Average velocity is total displacement divided by total time interval. Displacement delta x means the difference between the time at x at two seconds minus x at zero seconds divided by the total time interval. What is x at two seconds? Simply substitute t equals to two in this equation. X two seconds equals to alpha equals to one times two squared minus beta is point zero five times two cubed. So you should have three point six meters. Similarly, you plug zero in, you should have zero meters. So the average velocity is three point six minus zero divided by two. You'll have one point eight. Similarly. You do for b t equals to zero to t equals to four. You should have three point two meters per second. And lastly, for c, it's the same idea. Last question: Tim and Rick both can run at a speed v r and work at a speed v w with v w less than v r. They set off together on a journey of distance d. Rick works half the distance and runs the second half. Tim works half the time and runs the other half. First, draw a graph shows the position of both Tim and Rick versus time. So this is a dt graph. So the red one is Rick, the blue one is Tim. How uh how did I get Rick? Rick says half the distance, and another half the distance. This is work. This is run. So, because running have a steeper slope, because running speed is is bigger. Here is Tim. Tim has half the time, so the time for one and time for the other, they are the same. Next one, write a sentence explaining who wins and why. So the winner will take less time to get there. So from this graph, you can see Tim is the winner because Tim takes less time. Tim wins because he takes shorter time to cover the same distance. Next one. How long does it take Rick to cover the distance d? Well, total time is the first half plus the last half, the second half. His Rick run this have the same distance. So d over two divided by v of running plus d over two divided by v of walking. So you it equals to that. Next one. What is Rick's average speed? Average speed equals to total distance divided by total time. Total distance is d. Total time is t rig. So you、uh, simplify this. So d divided by this expression. This is you have to add、uh, fractions. So you should get this. Last one. How long does it take Tim to cover the distance? What's the time? So to cover the whole distance, d total distance is the running speed times the total time divided by two because Tim uses half the time to run. And half time to work. You factor in TM, then you solve for TM. You should have this answer. That's it for today. See you next time, and thanks for watching.